So let me tell y'all what just happened. I have a Forever 21 card and I have a Victoria's Secret card. Okay? Like the credit cards is through the same bank or whatever. Community, capital, or something like that. So anyway, my brain has been all over the place. I just been like pretty much out of it. <laughs> so I just like honestly I'm not being keeping track of stuff. I need to get my life together. I know, I know, I need to get my life. But okay, anyway, I forgot the payments. Flat out. <laughs> but um luckily it was like no late charges or anything. But anyway. So they called me last Friday and they was telling me it was past due and I'm like, oh, okay, like, let me get it paid. So I hop online that same second and I'm like, I just paid it. I paid it in full. I paid my Victoria's Secret credit card in full. So then they just called me today and was like, um, we calling on behalf of Community Bank, blah, 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 blah. You need to make your payment, girl. So I was like, didn't I just do this last Friday? And she's like, no, you um told us you would pay it and you never did. Like, this lady, <laughs> this lady had an attitude like I owed her money. Like, like I owe her rent money. Like, mm -hmm. I owe her money to put in her pocket. Like, money to go grocery shopping for her kids or something. She had an attitude out of this world. I was like, but I thought I just paid this last Friday. Um, she was like, no, you paid your Victoria's Secret credit card. This is Forever 21 card. I was like, I must have got confused. I thought I paid. I thought this was the other one because, you know, it's the same bank, so it sounds the same, so you just get on there, like, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'll go online and pay it. This is what she said. She said, but anyways, then you can't pay it off her phone because she said that last week that you were going online and paying, you didn't pay. Girl! Disrespect. Oh, and then let me tell you how quick her attitude changed after this. Like, I, I just don't pay things over the phone. I don't feel comfortable. You could be getting scammed, but um, came down to it, you know, it is a, they were the real deal. And I did end up paying on the phone. This lady got a major attitude with me. Like, like I said, like I owed her money. Like I owed her money in her hand. And like I was ducking and dodging her for weeks or something. Like she was tripping. So I was like, okay, like let me, let me, let me, let me break this down to you because I'm not running from a credit card, honey. So I was like, no, no, you know what? What credit card is on file? She let me know my checking account that was on file. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Pay it in full. <laughs> Pay it in full. And she's like, oh. Okay, thank you so much, um, ma'am. Ma she started calling me ma'am and being all nice. Have a great day. I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, okay, bye. Y'all, Lil T from Flint was finna come out because she had me <laughs> all the way messed up. Like, this little call center community bank. Like, you going hard for this company. How much are they paying you? She just had me so messed up. Like, look at my baby. That's for Al's parents. And I'm watching the Bells Bus one on my TV. <laughs> and Al is still sleeping. Yeah, so we're on the couch. We had a movie night last night. Well, I had a movie night. I was trying to get caught up on. Yeah, I was trying to get caught up on Orange Is the New Black. Um, I I fell asleep. Was it episode two? But yeah, y'all, they tripping on Orange is the New Black. They got the right. Well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna spill, I ain't gonna spill it, cause I hate when people tell me like what happened in the show. Like I, that drives me nuts when people tell me what happened in the show. And my baby is pooping. I give him like a little belly massage <laughs> to help him get out, cause he be struggling. Oh, get it out. I can smell it now, but this this is nothing. Like this this little little poop is nothing compared to the. We've been potty training him, trying to officially potty train him. So he's in pull ups now, and he got his little toilet ring. We just went ahead and moved from the little infant uh, potty, just regular potty. Got him a little potty ring so he can fit on there. It's, um officially being potty trained because these two wiping two butts <laughs> wiping two little butts all day is not mm -mm. i don't have an issue with the little diapers and the little booties but when you start eating what i eat 
something. We got a problem. You finna get your butt on the body. Look at the eyes, man. Look at Ivy. He's so beautiful. <sighs> Look at those eyes. Hi. Hi, Isaac. Hi, my baby. <gasps> Hi, my baby. Hi, my baby. Oh. <laughs> Quick little um, shrimp alfredo. I kind of need some more sauce. <laughs> it's a little dry. But yeah, that's my shrimp alfredo. And I got some breadsticks and my green goodness. You want some? <laughs> you want my drink. That's mommy's. You got your own drink. <laughs> I swear my days just go from like good to bad. is a emotional struggle we took a little walk and we're at the park and he is grabbing trash let's throw it away how about that so yeah getting out the house letting my feelings out talking talking about my emotions and like getting them out and letting it be <laughs> not holding it in helps me to feel a lot better he is having so much fun that makes me happy just watching him have fun. I feel bad because it's like, I don't like sitting in the house all day, but sometimes I just feel like I can't even get out the house. Like I just, I don't know, I be, my anxiety, like it's weird, but <laughs> like I just don't want to be around people. And you know, the neighbors, they always outside with their kids. And it's like, I be wanting to get out the house, but my anxiety, won't let me get out the house if that makes sense like because i just don't be wanting to be around nobody i don't be wanting to talk to nobody because i'm just sad and i feel like me being around people i have to put on a front like i feel like i would have to smile and it just wouldn't feel right because i don't want to smile at the moment or i feel sad at the moment so i don't want to be around people so i just seclude myself sit in the house and that makes it even worse like it's it really sucks, but now I feel bad. I feel guilty because I got this little one that wants to be active and get out the house, and he needs to get outside every day. And I want to get him outside every day, like at least go to the park. Him to be around other kids too, and the, he likes he really likes um, playing with the neighbors. He really like playing with the neighbor kids and stuff. But it's just me that, and I feel that makes me feel even worse. It makes me feel guilty because it's like. Thank you for giving me rocks. <laughs> if you are going through this and you feel alone, just know that you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. Um, I'm right here with you. If you know somebody who just gave birth, ask them how they're doing. <laughs> just ask them how they're doing. Like I really appreciate my friend. That's my friend, y'all. That's my friend. I mentioned her in a couple of vlogs before with Tierra. <laughs> over at Tierra's turn on youtube but i just really appreciate her she don't know how much if you're watching this girl like for real you don't know how much that meant to me just for you to ask like 
how am I feeling? It, it just like, if you was in front of me, I would just break down crying and just hug you because a lot of people ask, how's the baby and stuff like that. And that's fine. That's nothing wrong with that. But just for somebody to ask the mother, for, for somebody to ask you, like, how you feeling? Like, it's like, girl, if you know somebody who just gave birth, just ask them how they feeling. Don't, I mean, you don't have to be annoying. Like, oh, girl, you got postpartum depression. Oh, girl, you feeling sad. Oh, girl, you got the baby blues. What's, what's up? You depressed. You don't have to do all that. Just simply ask them how they feeling because that feel really good to me because I really wanted to talk about it. Yeah, but sometimes... People want to talk about it, but they don't know how to really say it. So when when you ask somebody, you know, how they feeling, it might be like a huge relief for them. Just like how it was for me to be like, okay, yes, this is how I'm feeling for real. And just, you know, to be honest with somebody and to share that truth and get it out there. And just allow it, allow it to be. And I, I just feel a lot better even just talking to the camera. Like, it's really... It's healing for me to talk about it. It's healing for me to share share this truth and to share this these feelings um, with others. So I just encourage you, if like I, like I said, if you're going through the same thing that I am, just I just encourage you to talk about it. Even if you have a journal or just get on your phone and talk to your camera, even if you don't vlog, it just feels a lot better to talk about it and to understand it a little more so do your research on it i had to read up some articles on like like what am i actually feeling so it helped me to understand better um that there's also a difference like between baby blues and postpartum depression keep <laughs> trying to catch a bird that is so sweet oh kids are amazing how innocent they are and just how they like <laughs> everything is an adventure to a kid it's just it's beautiful watching him but anyway um i'm gonna get off here I've been talking to y'all for 11 minutes. I know I'm going to have to edit this down because this is a super long talk. But I felt like it was necessary to really sit here and get all that out. And I'm feeling so much better. It's just like getting a burden off talking about it. So I feel lighter. I feel more airy. One day at a time. Taking it one day at a time. About to get him ready for his bath. You going to take him a bath? This is Isaac's first bath. <laughs> Ready to take baby brother a bath? No. no. Oh. He did not enjoy oh. first bath. <laughs> Clean. Ooh. 